They are the newest class of medications to treat diabetes and are all the rage for losing weight. You know the names Ozempic, Wagovi, Manjaro, and last night on CBS News Miami at 11, I looked into what makes them different and what side effects you need to know about if you are thinking about talking to your doctor about getting on them. There's also an added benefit to them. They can help support a healthy heart. Beyond the glucose lowering in diabetes and then beyond the weight loss, they are showing that these medications have cardiovascular protection. So even in somebody that doesn't have diabetes, there are, there's data and there are studies that show that this medication alone reduces the risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. And joining me this morning, another obesity medicine specialist and gastroenterologist, Dr. Michelle Perlman. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. It really is a pleasure. So we hear about these medications to help diabetes, to help lose weight, but how, how, how do they benefit the heart? So there's actually a recent study mm -hmm. that came out looking at inpatients who are overweight or obese, non-diabetic, did we actually have risk reduction in, in non-fatal cardiovascular events, so heart attack and stroke, and there was a 20% risk reduction. And it doesn't just all go back to weight loss. We are seeing more and more mechanisms mm -hmm. as to how these medications work, and it may actually go back to also reducing total body inflammation. And we're talking about testosterone and hormones, which also plays a role? My goodness, mm -hmm. hormones play such a yeah. critical role in optimal health. And when our hormones are not at good levels, we actually get profound muscle loss. Believe it or not, as a gastroenterologist, mm -hmm. I'm often the first healthcare provider that checks a man's testosterone level. And what I see is, is they have low muscle mass, mm -hmm. they're struggling with their weight, they've lost the pep in their step, and it's because they've been living decades with, with hormones that are not optimized. That's incredible, something that you don't even think about. I mean, we women think about it when we go through menopause. So that's something I know very well that I'm going through right now. So do you see more men or women on the medication or is it like combination? So I have about 50% mm -hmm. of my patients, men and 50% women. But what I do see is mm -hmm. everyone struggles. We cannot ignore the fact that sleep is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. The foundation, good nutrition, good protein intake, moving our body on a regular basis. But if we use these medications and we want to mm -hmm. mitigate the side effects and minimize muscle loss, we have to approach hormones and treat them if they're not being optimized. And Doctor, how about someone who says, oh, I want to lose 10 to 15 pounds. You were saying this is not a quick fix. Do you recommend that for those people? Yeah, these medications mm -hmm. are made for long-term use. They help people make the process a little bit less mm -hmm. painful, but they don't do the work for us. So people who just need to lose 10 or 15 pounds, they will be able to do that with dietary modification mm -hmm. and moving their bodies on a regular basis and increasing their muscle mass. These medications yeah. are really for people who have a BMI of 27 or above with a comorbid condition or a BMI over 30. And quickly, would you say that they are safe? For they patients? are safe when they are used in the right circumstance and when they're being supervised by providers that have expertise in the use of very, the medication. Very important, doctor. So if you do want to get on the medication, don't go online and try to get them online because we've seen and go see a doctor. That's for sure. Thank you so much because you never know what you're getting. Thank you.